وبركاته وعليكم السلام الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم نول لنا البصائر وصفي لنا السرائر ووسع لنا المشاهد وصفي لنا الموارد الحمد لله أمرت أن أتكلم في لغة الإنجليزية فكنا نود أن نتكلم بالعربية إذا كان هناك أمر ولكن امتثال الأمر إن شاء الله نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يكون هناك أثر ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن هناك السامعين يسمعون هذه اللغة ويفهمونها من المسلمين ومن غير المسلمين لأنهم في, في أمس الحاجة إلى الحضور فيما أنتم تحت هذه المجلس الذي أنتم تحضرونها الحمد لله mulai ceramah beliau dengan memuji kepada Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dan berselawah kepada Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lalu beliau mengucapkan kalimat beliau menyukai untuk menggunakan bahasa Arab namun karena guru tercinta beliau Al-Habib Umar bin Muhammad bin Salim bin Hafid memerintahkan beliau dengan menggunakan bahasa Inggris maka beliau akan berceramah dengan menggunakan bahasa Inggris as you probably heard that Uh, I was born and raised in the city of Manchester and most people are aware of Manchester because of football. And probably the only thing that's close to this kind of gathering that we have in Manchester is if you go and watch Manchester United and all the people gather together. Dan kebanyakan dari kita di sini suka menonton klub Manchester United. Makalahan. But you haven't come to watch people put a piece of leather ball between two posts. There are people they they pay thousands of pounds to do this. You came for a very different reason. You gathered for a very different reason. Dan ada di sini semua berbeda dengan mereka yang uh, menghabiskan banyak Uh, on, untuk menonton sepak bola. We wish and long and yearn for these kind of gatherings. We wish we could have Habib Sheikh Habibullah Taala come to England and to sing the, 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 with these beautiful voices, the, the melodies of our Habai and the Salaf. Dan beliau menjelaskan bahwa Habib juga pernah ke uh, Inggris untuk mendengarkan atau uh, melantunkan lagu yang begitu indah. What we've learned from our mashayikh, from our teachers, is that we call to Allah out of the love of Allah, through the love of God. We don't do it to be seen or to be for a show. We don't do it for fame, we don't do it for money, we don't do it for anything except for the love of Allah. And they didn't teach us just through speech, they taught us through their states, through their hal. Yang kita banggakan dari masyarakat kita adalah beliau mencain Allah bukan karena apa-apa, bukan karena gong, bukan karena harta dan juga bukan karena lain sebagainya. They say that the, the tongue of one state is more powerful, more eloquent than the tongue of one's speech. Lisan al-hal antaq min lisan al-maqal. Dan kemampuan mulut lebih kuat mengingat apa yang di dimampuinya. And no doubt, these great gatherings they came from a real source. They came. And all of you have gathered, all of us have gathered together ultimately because of one. Kita semua terkumpul karena satu hal. You came in your cars, maybe some of you took the train, maybe some of you took an airplane. You traveled and you waited in the heat and in the sun until the night. Why? Beberapa dari anda ke sini dengan mengendarai kereta, kemudian pesawat dan ke sini itu hal apa? You came for one reason. 
Anda datang untuk satu hal alasan. And his name is Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Dan namanya adalah Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He's the reason why you came and he's the one that gathered us sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Biarlah alasan kita di sini dan berkumpul di sini. He's a Nabi al-Jami'ah. He's the one that gathered every single one of us. Different languages, different cultures, different food, different inclinations. But we're all the same. Our hearts are all united upon Him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bilalah yang telah menggabungkan kita semua di sini dengan bahasa yang berbeda, dengan nasionaliti yang berbeda, dan juga dengan kebangsaan yang berbeda. There were those from the students of Sayyid Al Habib Umar that went to the shores of America and they were walking in California and with a group of people. Dan dia menceritakan bahwa Habib Umar pernah berjalan-jalan di California. And as is the way of our mashayikh, that everything that they say, everything that they intend, everything that they do, the way they act, the way they move, the way they breathe, every part of them is in beautiful, perfect following of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Setiap hal yang beliau laksanakan adalah mengikuti kelembutan dan juga taulah dan dari Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So by looking at them, you're called to Allah. Dengan melihat mereka, anda semua melihat kepada Allah. Just having your heart open to them, your heart gets filled with light, and you're called back to Allah. Dan buka hati anda untuk mendapatkan cahaya dari Allah. In our lands, in the likes of. England and America and Europe and Australia, lands which aren't a majority Muslim lands, we're in desperate need of this light that we're all sharing here this evening. Then the English, kemudian America, dan sebagainya, semuanya mendapatkan cahaya dari Allah. We're getting sick and tired now of just football games. It doesn't really help the soul. Football game. Karena terlalu banyak menghabiskan waktu di sini. There's only so much you can watch TV or go to, you know, on the internet. Or and if there's nothing to fill the heart, the heart weeps, it yearns, it longs for this light. Banyak hal telah dilaksanakan kita melihat internet dan lain sebagainya, tapi tidak mendekatkan hati kita kepada Allah. So this Habib that came and he was walking on on the shore with a group of people in California in America, he was dressed as we know our Mashaikh dress, the exact same way of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But it wasn't just his appearance; it was his state that moved the people around him, that affected them. Dan Nabi tetap memakai apa yang beliau pakai di Amerika dan itu akan mencerminkan dengan apa yang beliau rasakan. To such an extent that there was an American lady, a woman, that came up to him in bewilderment, in astonishment, and she said, "What are you?" Dan ada Seorang gadis kemudian melihat dia dengan penuh penasaran. Siapa anda? And that's the way it's difficult for us to really describe our shiuk. They're not just teachers. They're not just scholars. They're not just callers to Allah. They're far deeper. They're from the nur of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Dan dia menjelaskan bahawa semua ini adalah dari Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this woman came to this Habib and said, "What are you? What religion are you? What do you follow?" And he said, "I'm a Muslim." Dan gadis ini bertanya kepada Habib, "Siapa anda? Apa agama anda?" Dan Habib berkata, "Saya adalah Muslim." Now that requires a lot of thinking, typically to change a whole lifestyle, but just by looking and seeing this person. 
that was filled with light, filled with truth, filled with kindness, filled with gentleness. She said, I want to be like you. Dan ini adalah perbedaan ketika kita membedang seseorang dan akan ada pesan bagi kita untuk siapa anda kemudian saya akan mengikuti anda. And so just by looking at this Habib, this American lady became Muslim just by looking at him. Dan dengan hanya melihat kepada Habib gadis Amerika ini kemudian menjadi Muslim. Do you know how powerful that is? To change your life completely just through one look. Dan kita lihat bagaimana kekuatan hal ini hanya dengan melihat penampilan kemudian membuat kita berubah. This is why we've gathered here today to receive from this light. Inilah kemudian kena alasan kita kemudian sih untuk mendapatkan cahaya. And in Arabic they have the word hasad and they also have the word ghibta. Hasad means to be envy and it's not a good thing. But ghibta is like a positive thing. We wish we had what you have. We in England we wish we had these majalis and we want them to continue for you and to increase in Indonesia. We're so honored to be here present with you today. Dan ini ada kata hasad yang berbeda sehingga kemudian uh, kita semua dapat berkumpul di sini semua. Oh, hasad. Hasad. Hasad muskil. Hasad apa? Habib kata bahwa uh, kita semua berharap untuk bisa mendapatkan seperti ini atau menjadi seperti ini. So we ask you humbly from our hearts, please bring to your hearts the Ummah tonight. There are people in Syria, in Yemen, all over the Arab world. There are people in America now who desperately need this light. There are people in England who need this light. Bring them to heart. Bring them to your soul. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them. Dan banyak orang menginginkan hal ini, mendapatkan cahaya ini. Orang-orang yang ada di Inggris dan lain sebagainya yang mereka menginginkan hal seperti ini. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah opens our hearts to that which Sayyidil Habib Amr has to give to us. Because our habaib are generous and they always come with gifts. <laughs> Dan Habaib memberikan hadiah kepada kita. Semoga kita membuka hati kita kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Nasi Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. An yufikan jamian. An Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yiftah gulubana. Wa Habaibuna yatun la yatun illa bi hadaya. Fana Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Taala an yiftah gulubana bi hadi hadaya. Likai likai nafsul alil hidaya. ونكون من المهتدين ومن الهادين نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن ينظر إلينا في هذا المجد وإلى أهل إندونيسيا وإلى أهل الشرق والغرب صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بليو منطق نصيحتنا بعنا معتكن فرحة بائب أكن من جدي سبب Turunnya hidayah dari Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mudah-mudahan kita semuanya mendapatkan hidayah dari Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala.